welcome. I'm Laura and I'm going to show you the use of lines within a Canva design today. So this is the style of line that we're going to be looking at. I'm going to delete it just to show you from the beginning. So this is a basic template I've put together. It's for houseplants, pink flower type business, just something with some imagery and um, some information on that we can use with our lines. So Canva has a line option and lines are brilliant because they help divide and organize information. Adding a line in between the two sections of information will draw the eye to the bottom left because it's the largest, then you'll work your way up into the top section. So it just helps with organizing your designs. But Canva have created a lovely line with several different features. So here I can change the color so I can change it to match the design and next to it, I can actually now change the style of the line. There's four different options and I also have the line weight or the line thickness so I can make it nice and chunky if I want. And lastly, rounded end points, which means when turned on, it turns it into nice soft little circles rather than the harsher lines. So that is a very, very quick overview of the actual line itself, but you can also add end points onto your line, which is here. So you can have a line start and you can have a line finish. Now you can choose different ones for each one if you want to, or you can have none. We'll go back to normal. So you've just got the option of now editing your line, the color, the size, the roundness, and also the end points. Now, one more thing I just want to mention with lines, um, like I say, it does help with organizing your information hugely. It makes your design so much more easier to read, but also aligning your text, the text boxes, these are all centered at the moment, but if you were, were to align them to the right, so they are aligned with the image, and that one as well. And then what I'm going to do is select them all. So I've aligned the text within the boxes, and then I'm going to go to position, and now you have these align elements here. So top, middle, bottom, will move them to the top, middle, or bottom, and this one will align the boxes themselves to the left or to the right. Now, what I've done is I have aligned all of the text boxes to the actual image. So you have the text boxes here, you have the image on this side, and they are all aligned with the image itself. And again, it just makes it look a little bit more organized and easier to understand and read if everything is aligned correctly. Um, yeah, that's it really. I just wanted to go through the new line feature and what you can do with it. And also just quickly about using that line to divide the information within a design. And then if you align left or right, it just gives it a more readable, easy to understand feel. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. So that's it for this one.